Here we are with the uh, unboxing of my latest and greatest toy, which is the uh, Clevo D901C++. We'll see why that is in a moment. But we're going to be unboxing this machine and uh, taking a look at what's inside. This is my latest and greatest little toy, I guess. So let's get to it. Um, this was how it was packaged. It's like one big box of boxes. I'm sure the mailman was plenty happy when he got this. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, cut her up, I guess. So I got one box. That one's pretty light. Two boxes. I'm assuming the laptop's in here. That has to be 25, 30 pounds. And then we have another really lightweight box. I think I'm gonna have to cut this open. and greatest. It's a uh, 220 watt, 20 volts, 11 amps. And uh, here's the plug. If you can see that. So that's nice, okay. This one. Another power supply. How exciting. So again, another one. Uh, 220 lot so I got two which is huge and they're both those four pin weird power connectors that super high end laptops usually have attraction that you've all been waiting for. That's a big laptop. There's the back. And the ports on this side. And the front, which is mainly just a headphone jack I.O. And then this side which is all kinds of stuff. And this one's missing the CD drive um, cover. We'll cover this in more detail in the next video, but 
This is the unboxing on the bottom. So we have two fans, or four fans if this was fully configured with SLI, but there's two for the CPU, one for the video card, the single video card in here. But wait, there's more. <clears throat> but wait, there is more. Medica. Oh, interesting. So this would have been some sort of boutique. This one's still got the original plastic on it. Um, same I.O., same everything. It's an impressive machine. Again, one video card. I think this one has three hard drives in RAID 0. So we'll be taking a look at that in a bit. Seems like brand new. Holy cow. So there's the first D901C. Um, huge machine. Holy smokes. Uh, it's got a 17 point 1 inch 1900 um, by 1200 display. This one's labeled on the keys, which makes me think this is actually used for something medical field. Rotate sign. So yeah, that could have been something with some sort of MRI or something machine. Um, it's a beautiful looking machine, I'll tell you that. This guy has a Russian keyboard for some reason. I have no idea why. I think what happened is they just wanted to replace it with a newer one. And these ones are pretty common on eBay for a relatively little amount of money. So I think that's what ended up happening now. This one looks almost brand new on the bottom chassis. Actually, this one looks pretty much brand new in general. So that's very impressive. This one has uh, bigger feet too because it's sitting much higher than this one in the back. So that's pretty cool. So we got that and then we have the two power bricks. So in the next video we're going to be taking a closer look at these machines and uh, seeing where we can go from there. Thanks for watching.